it's Connor and Angelique from Cape Town for Kids. And we are here at the Clay Cafe. And at the Clay Cafe, you can choose an item and then you can paint it with all sorts of different colors. And then, and then they bake it for you and it turns out like these pretty designs right here. Um, the colors don't look as pretty as you paint it, but as they bake it, it becomes so much brighter. So, it's amazing. So they have little stars to show you the colors, obviously. Sure. There is also a play area here where the kids can play and the moms and dads can paint or the kids can paint or anything really. <laughs> over it the crown will always come out white with this rough sort of texture okay regardless of the actual color of the crown so it'll always come out white. then the stickers like you've got with your owl over there you can use this for decorating maybe her eyes okay you can do that with your piggies as well so you're going to put your stickers on and you're going to make sure that you press them down quite flat okay then you're going to paint over them you don't need to peel the stickers off okay they'll burn off in the kiln all right so those two effects only work if they're done first okay then if you would like to use stencils or, or, or stamps, you can choose the ones that I showed you inside. Basically what you need to do is you need to make sure that your base color, this color over here, is lighter than that of your stencil, okay? Once you do the stencil, you're going to hold them down bit by bit and you're going to use a sponge like this guy over here, okay? And then you're going to sponge your shape out and then you'll slowly peel it off and it'll have your perfect shape like this. Okay, then if you'd like to scratch designs out, which is my favorite, you're gonna paint your item first. You use three layers to paint your item until you get a solid, cape, solid color like this green color. Then you're gonna draw with a pencil. Okay, the pencil burns off in the kiln, so you don't need to erase the pencil. And then you take a long dart and you scratch the paint away. Okay, so that you can see your shape underneath. Then the dotters, which you guys are excited about, is what you do right, right at the end. So you see over here, mm -hmm. those are the dotters. So they come out 3D. Okay, so what you need to do with your dotters is you need to paint your item first till it's completely finished, and then you can choose your dotters inside. Make sure you get a pin, and you're gonna unblock the pin, and then you're gonna use them dot by dot by dot until you get your 3D effect. Okay, don't put them right at the edge of your items because they will burn off. And just practice on the paper provided until you feel like you've got the right consistency. Okay, at the back. Don't paint at the back. And this number that's on the table over here just needs to go at the bottom of your owl and the bottom of your piggy so we know that it's yours. Any questions? No. Do you want some? You've got your wheels. Okay, so if you want to do your crayons and stickers, you're going to do those things first. Okay. Cool. Enjoy. Um, and the cool thing about this place is you can eat while you paint. It is so cool. You can order your food. You can get your um, piggy bank or whatever. Um, there's a lot of different models you can choose from. You can get it. You can put it on your table. You can get food and you just, you can eat it. You can eat food while you paint. It's so cool. And Connor painted it. Piggy bank and, and I painted an owl. Yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> 